Welcome guys to another video. This one is going to be a another quick one that you can do. Uh, we're going to make a pair of dice. I'm only going to carve one for you, but make some dice and kind of Halloween themed. So since that month is around the corner, uh, for this you'll need a one by one and whatever length works for you. This one is not a true one by one. I just hacked this out of a two by two. So mine's definitely not gonna be square. Pencil or pen or something. Ruler maybe. Uh, some kind of saw using the Japanese one here. Glove. I'm using the detailing knife, but any knife really should work for this. So um, first thing we're gonna do is you're going to measure down one inch and make your marks. You only need to make them on like one side because then you can just transfer it over on the side. Once you get that, you're going to come in and make a line across them. And I did the other three already. So just like that. And you're going to start by going straight in on the bottom corner and cutting down just like that. Whatever depth you want, uh, you can kind of replicate the actual paradise or die if you want to say. Um, up to you, but since these are kind of Halloween based, you can be a little bit more loose and free with how the shape is because like Tim Burton kind of makes Halloween stuff a little bit odd shaped and stuff so you can kind of get away with doing that and at this point while you're at it you can come across your your line or be off like me and just take a little bit out same thing whatever depth you want it to look like if you're not exactly on your marks it's not the end of the world it'll be fine now, if you want to make your dice really symmetrical and perfect, then you can do that. But you're going to be much more detail-oriented than I am. As you can see, I'm not even on the line most of the time. And then mine, I hacked through a few times. But you can go ahead and shave off that factory finish just by taking it a little bit off just like that and same with the top if yours mine was cut already but your top will probably look more like that or something you can go ahead and kind of cut through like this roughly get it like that Chipped a little bit of the wood. Kind of round your corners off. Same kind of lot again. Same idea, just however round you want them. You can come up top, round those off. I'd advise trying to do this stuff now. Once you cut this off with the saw, it becomes hard to handle. And I'm going through this kind of quick, so you guys can just get the concept. I'm not really taking my time, which you'll see with the number part as well. I'm just going to speed through it a little bit. From this point, I'm just going to make triangles for where your, you know, die would be. You could go the traditional route with how you want it laid out. Um, I'm going to do three on the top here, so I'm making little triangles. And again, take your time if you want it perfect. I'm just scrambling through it for video's sake, but you can make them like that. You could do one in the middle, two like eyeballs, um, square shape, whatever you want to do. But I'm doing triangles, and then you want to leave... The number one for the bottom because that's going to be the hardest to kind of notch out because you've got a tiny piece of wood. 
So don't do that one. I would suggest leaving that. You can make them as big as you want to. But remember, you're going to have one that has six. So you want to be mindful of that. With that done, uh, if you want, you could also see how much surface room you have here. It's probably better to put a five and then the six. Two would fit better on the side because that's just mine, really, because I do not have a true one by one because this would just kind of, you can see how badly off it is. So yours might be more even, so you don't have to worry about it. But if you're got a scrap wood and it's kind of off shape like this, uh, just keep that in mind. But like I said, leave the one for the bottom portion because that's then you'll have to cut one and hold it funny because this thing's going to be tiny or so. I'm just going to show you one, basically. You're just coming in with the tip of the knife. Cut on that bottom line. Same with, say, the right side. I'm right-handed. Come in. Just kind of meet where you can right there. And what you want to do is turn it. And then start at that bottom corner and come in. And that kind of notches it out just like that. Come in at the corner, kind of meet at the end, notch it out. Same thing. Sometimes I know the wood will split too, so be careful. But you can make these deep, shallow, and then come back and clean stuff up. But if you do the initial triangle notch cut, at least you have something to start with. And you can kind of dig a little bit deeper. So, something like that. Like I said, I'm not going to get too crazy. I'm just trying to make a quick one for the video. But make them as deep as you want. And repeat. So, got all those notched out. Uh, again, go as deep as you want. But my idea is to paint those black and then probably like an orange on top or something so you're really not going to see all the flaws in there if you are screwing some stuff up um not a big deal so now i'm going to stick this in the vise and just saw off right at that base right there and that'll give me the uh die itself cut off so here it is sawed off i might link the video for that Japanese saw I did at the end of this video or down below just if you guys are interested so now you're going to want to again kind of clean off that cut line the best you can this is kind of tricky to hold but and you're just shaving this off to kind of give it a better finish when you paint and stuff if you go with a pretty opaque finish paint, it's not too bad, but some, if it is lighter, will kind of show a different pattern compared to the rest of the carving. So just go through, you know, round off the edges like you did before. Just be careful on that cut yourself. And if you don't have a vice, you could get like a clamp or something on a table and try that route. Um, the vice is just... I've got one right here, so it's easier to use. But uh, now you're just going to make that one triangle in the middle. And do the same thing we did before. This is, you'll see once you have to hold this, why it's much easier just to have to do one of these at the bottom. Compared to like six or something. So, got that notched out. There's one. I made one the other day. So I got two. And let's bust out some paint. So as I mentioned, we got some orange. Just going to use a little bit of black. Hopefully this tip is decent. Come in here. Kind of just fill that triangle in. 
I'm not too worried about the over paint because I'm just going to go surface with the uh, orange. So it shouldn't be a big deal. If you do not have black paint, you could always possibly try to sharpie the inside and see how that turns out. Now that the black's somewhat dry, I'm just going to lightly coat around the outside. I think this paint has separated while sitting out here, so it's not going as opaque as it typically would. So if you see this, don't be that concerned. It's my paint, not typical. So I might have to pull out a different orange for this, but you'll get the idea. You can kind of just brush over those spots and cover it. I feel like that was more of a glob of the orange. Or you can paint the orange and then come back with the black and go from there either way. But let me see if I have some other orange up here. Whoa. So we do have different type of orange. This one is much better. So if you got a little crazy with the uh, black paint, you know, I'd do a couple coats anyways. But like I said, if you want to do the orange ahead of time and then hit the black, it's all up to you and what you want to do. But that's it. I'm going to continue painting these, get these done. You guys probably don't really need to see the end result because you get the concept. They're going to be like pumpkin looking dice. But at the end of the day, paint them what color you want. Take your time. Don't be messy like me. I'll probably have to go back through and hit some of this black. Some rushing through painting too. Just to get it done. But other than that, appreciate you guys stopping by, watching the video. I'll link that Japanese saw video at the uh, end or right now of this video. Also, hopefully, if I remember, it'll be in the description below. But, but again, appreciate you guys stopping by, watching the video. Nothing too complicated, just another fun little video to do for Halloween, making some dice. So... I'll uh, catch you guys on the next video.